Hello gems! In this video, I am going to draw my sister's Roblox avatars! I did 3 digital drawings in total, so let's draw! I am using Procreate on my iPad. You can use IBS Paint X, it's for free. I use that for my thumbnails, so yeah. So this isn't exactly what one of her avatar looks like, but it's based on this avatar, the french fries head. It looks so cute, so why not draw it? I'm outlining the fries freehand because sometimes the fries aren't perfectly straight. And then I'm writing the word edibles because that is my sister's Roblox name. Now it's time to draw the cute faces. I love the facial expressions. I drew the smile and the oop. And the sleeping faces. Then I write down hey ya, hi, and hello. I add a flat color light purple for the box and a yellow for the middle and also colored the sparkles yellow. Then I colored the letters line art with the same color purple from the box. I put my line art layer on reference and go to the bottom layer and color drop a yellow color for the fries. So that will be the flat color. Then I add shading on the fries and now I am going to add highlights on the french fries with a shell brush. Okay, it's looking nice. Now I add a new layer and put it on clipping mask on top of the fries box flat colors and I use a medium hard airbrush and shade the box then I add another new layer and clipping mask and put it on screen for the highlights then I was thinking of a light pink background and I did a gradient and I add green swirly lines and I didn't like it too much, so then I added a white stroke around the drawing. Then I tried to change the color on the background. And I put a green background and purple swirls. But I still don't know how to feel about it. So then I drew yellow sparkles doodles, but I didn't like how it looked. So I used a sparkle brush. And I like it like that. So magical. Then I add some texture on the french fries. And I changed the background color baby blue with purple swirls. And I think it fits well because it makes the french fries looks delicious, you know. It looks edible. <laughs> and I add a light purple heart light. And I turn off the layer and add light green dots on the box fries to add texture. Then I turn on the light layer and it looks amazing and cute. I love the color palette and the facial expression on the french fries. Would you eat these french fries or keep them for yourself? You know, like keep them safe. Hmm, I don't know. First drawing done. Here is the next drawing. And this avatar is mixed with skeletons and french fries. <laughs> so I'm doing the line art with a brown color. Do, 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 do. This image is from playing Ricky Rat number two or three. I do not remember. But yeah, that's my reference. It's important to have reference. It helps a lot. Drawing their cute faces. Then I color drop a yellow color for the french fries. Then I add shading and highlights. I use the light gray for the skeleton, flat colors, and add highlights and shading. Then I color the spikes of the 
weapon thing and use a shell brush for shading and highlights. I colored the line art a orange color for the fries and a grayish color for the skeleton. And the gray color for the spikes. Then I color drop a brown color for the floor and add texture on it. And add this blue color for the wall, which also has texture on it. And I am adding lighting from the sun, which is shining through a window that you cannot see. Then I use a eraser and erase the shading parts so it doesn't lose the shading. I drew a big circle of this color blue and colored the edges a bit. And I put it on overlay so it creates a shadow around it. Then I put sparkles around the spiky bowl weapon. On another layer, I use a sprinkle brush and put tiny sprinkles on the lighting source. I did another round of shading and boom! It looks so nice. I tried to do like a different style for it, especially for like the background and it turned out great. Like a true french fry slash skeleton warrior. Second drawing done! This is the last drawing for today. So I'ma be honest, I think my sister Bella used this avatar like two or three times because I don't see her using that avatar with the ferret head. The sketches are done. I am arranging it. Now it's line art time. On another layer, on top of the sketch, which I lower the opacity halfway so I can see the line art better. I'm outlining the ferret head, which was kind of hard to draw in this angle. I should have used a reference, but oh well, it's not too bad. Once I finished the line art, I color dropped the color of the clothes and the hair. And coloring the skin. And add shadows and lighting on the clothes. I finished coloring the line art. Now I'm using the selection tool and I am drawing hair shapes like part for shading. And then use a soft brush and paint on it for only that specific part. This is like one of my favorite methods for coloring hair. And I did the same thing for the highlights. Just selecting sections of the hair and color on top of it and you can blend it later if you want now i'm coloring the eyes i add a new layer and put it on screen for the eyeballs what is screen screen is when you select or eye drop the same color for example brown it makes it lighter and you can adjust it with opacity on how you want it to look like so yeah it's very helpful and i add a black pupil in the middle and add white highlights now it's time to add blush Ooh, to make it more lively. So I got a pink color and I am drawing ovals on both sides of the cheek. I went to adjustments to put Gaussian blur to blend the blush. So make sure this is in another layer. Then I lowered the opacity a bit. I colored the ferret head's ears pink inside. And select the eyes and add sprinkles on the eyes to look less um weird. I erase this part of the line art and use a fur brush to make it look it has fur. I pick this color background and thinking what I should do around the canvas. And I add a blue blob with lines around it. Then I add yellow stars. And I duplicate it to make the bottom layer and put it on color dodge to glow and put Gaussian blur. Whoa, look at that. It looks so bright. I have a pink layer on the very top and trying to see what modes I like. And I end up using soft light and ta-da! 
Wow! I honestly like how these avatars are posed and it's a bit more detailed. I love it. It gives sketchbook vibes or collage vibes. It still looks great. Third drawing done! Comment down which drawing is your favorite. Number one, french fries. Number two, warrior skelly fry. Number three, ferret heads. There's still a few more of my sister's avatars, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate that. And see you in the next time. Bye!